So here's a nice bit of lateral thinking. Um, the good folks at Cloudhead Games have thought long and hard about motion sickness when you're doing explicit rotation uh, using a head-mounted display like this one here where I use the regular mouse navigation tool from a first-person shooter uh, WASD to move uh, mouse left and right to look around. Um, and they have uh, observed that people have a real problem with the smooth rotation uh, that is caused by just moving the mouse left and right in this case or if you have like a gamepad by pushing the analog stick left or right. Uh, and so what they figured out um, is that uh, they have much better results if they don't apply smooth rotations when you rotate the mouse or push on the stick but if you do it in discrete steps. And uh, now I personally don't really have too much trouble with motion sickness on rotation but I do take the word for it. I have don't really have that much experience with HMD work. Uh, and so I figured this would be something that uh, would be really easy to implement in VUI uh, and would be a nice way of testing it. So I just made a little change which was just like about uh, putting in about additional five lines of code or so into the navigation tool uh, and then it just immediately runs in all of the application due to the way VUI is set up. So there is a little bit of a wrinkle here um, and that is when you when you don't use a thumbstick where you can just every time you push it to the edge you rotate by a fixed degree but if you use the mouse uh, then you need to be a little bit clever of how to implement it and the other thing is you notice that I have a HUD here um, which up on top there shows me the direction which I'm looking and which has a crosshair there. The reason is that in this particular navigation tool looking and motion are uh, intentionally decoupled in this mode. So by pressing W, I'll always move forward. Even if I look over to the right, I still move forward by pressing W. The idea is that the crosshairs and the direction marker up there are the orientation of your body. And you just by moving the head, you just move your head around, but your body still points in the same direction, so you're moving in the same direction. Which is, of course, an arbitrary choice, which is why there's different modes for this tool, but anyway. So when using this discrete scheme, you still need to make that work with the... Uh, uh, with the crosshairs and with that motion paradigm. So the idea here is that I just turned on that um, discrete motion mode, that if you move the mouse just a little, then it's actually the crosshair that moves. So what that means is uh, there's no rotation applied at all and just smoothly moving the, moving the crosshair around. The other reason, of course, for doing that is uh, if you don't have a motion controller to aim, let's say, in a first-person shooter, and you have to aim just by using mouse look, then you need to be able to aim at whatever you want, not just in 60 degree increments. So this is one way of doing it. So if I aim at this here and now push forward, I'm moving directly towards the direction. Uh, and now if I aim here, move over here. But if I move too much and go over uh, more than in this case 15 degrees away from the ideal forward position, then the view ratchets around by 30 degrees in this case, which is configurable. That's just the default I went with. Uh, and you notice how then also the crosshair snaps back to where you were. So you follow it with your head and you go back and you follow it with your head and you go back and so forth. And as it turns out, um, again, I don't really suffer from this problem very much, but uh, that definitely does feel to me a bit different. I would say it feels better. So I definitely need to try that on a bunch of our users. But this is a, this is a very promising idea, and clearly it works with the uh, with this particular navigation tool and with the with the mouse aim and all of that. Um, you notice also that up here the uh, the compass indicator properly works. It still shows the correct direction in which you go. Uh, it's just that it rotates around like this. So that's a, a really neat addition here. Again, like I said, it was maybe just changing five lines of code uh, in this particular navigation tool. Uh, so now it works in all the applications and I can do some experiments and can also, of course, and very easily experiment with different um, different amounts of discrete increment and so forth. Um, but the basic idea appears to be sound and it works really quite nicely. Uh, I have to say it does feel different to me even uh, to to what we had before. So yeah, thank you guys at Cloudhead Games. That's the kind of innovation uh, that is uh, that is really neat to have, and that it comes out this early is really quite a testament to the to the developer community that is um, that is forming around this uh, this headset at this moment. So yeah, that's all I wanted to all I wanted to show. Just to uh, go back to the default mode, so now we are back in uh, smooth navigation. And yeah, again, I don't personally have too much of a problem with that, but it does feel. Yeah, okay, it does feel a little bit more dizzying than 
this. So I guess finding out the proper increment angle right now I'm using 30 degrees uh, is another thing that needs to be just studied by testing it on a bunch of people. Um, but I think I am going to run that by our uh, artist users tomorrow and see what they think of it. So uh, yeah, um, that's the one. Good job.